Bob. The Norwegian Gamer. Hi guys, I'm Hyperlative, and you're the audience. See what I did there? Huh? Huh? You see what I did there? No, you didn't. No, nah, no, nah, you didn't. You didn't. I am. Um, you heard it. You didn't see it. And that was a horrible joke. Let's move on. <laughs> Hi guys, Hyperlato here, the Norwegian Gamer. I, I, you know, I can't really start a commentary without saying that. It doesn't just, it doesn't feel right. It doesn't get me into the kind of, uh, it makes me kind of, my, my, my brain stumbles if I don't say that at first, you, you know? Because um, I'm sitting here, um, leaning back in my chair, having my headset on because I use my headset to record. I watch my gameplay go, and um, if I don't start with that phrase, I, my brain kind of stumbles. It, something ain't right. And it isn't right before I say my catchphrase, my, my opening phrase, if you will. So, um, well, here I am, guys. I am back from my holiday. As I said, I haven't put out content for almost two weeks now. Uh, and... Um, and uh, now I'm back. I went to Denmark. I was at Nordic for H camp. It was a hell of a lot of fun. I mean, um, just the way 4H is such a fun organization, or at least it is in Norway and for the mostly in Scandinavia and Finland too, of course. But um, in Norway, it's such a great an organization. Uh, it. it um, it's just these camps are so much fun because it brings a lot of like-minded people together and we have such a huge amount of fun that is not even funny <laughs> uh, that was that was unintentional uh, I mean I, I, we have so much fun uh, uh, without even including anything like alcohol or anything because we're just having silly fun, telling silly jokes, doing silly things. I mean, we're like children. And I'm past 20 years old, and I can still find childish enjoyment on these camps. And it's, it's such, a, it's such an, a huge amount of fun. And, uh, of course, we're responsible and everything like that. But still, it's just nice to kind of... <laughs> let go of, uh, of uh, all your norms and just take it out. I don't know. I don't know how to put it into words. Because um, um, well, 4H is an uh, is a you know an alcohol-free uh, kind of event, or it, it, you don't you don't consume alcohols on a in a on a 4H event, and uh, that's the way it should be. But the fact, of, uh, the fact of the matter is, you don't need the alcohol to make an 4-H event funny or fun. Because the people and the kind of environment that's created on, on these camps, it, it's such... It's such a good... You know, alcohol kind of removes the barriers that the society and you yourself put on yourself. Well, that's a lot of yourselves. Uh, it removes the barriers that that's put on you and that's kind of what a 4-H camp all do too because suddenly you can do th you do things that you wouldn't do necessarily when you're sober elsewhere but even if you're sober on 4-H camp you do silly things that's just the way it is and um, it, it's a lot of fun it, you <laughs> Uh, I'm, right now, I'm just thinking back over the uh, for the week and um, all the fun I had. I mean, I can't even put it to words. So, if there is any fellow 4Hers out there, just leave a comment below and tell me because um, I, I want to hear how it's in your country. I mean, uh, 4H in Norway is v pretty liberal, uh, probably very liberal in uh, in comparison to some other countries, and. Um, it's a lot of fun. Uh, I don't know how to put it in other words than just pure fun. 
But this commentary is not going to be all about 4-H. Um, I, uh, well, this is just a commentary with me rambling, apparently. I was just going to put out a, kind of a short update or something. I don't know. And it became what it became. But, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, actually, um, what I wanted to mention was that... Um, if you uh, look on my profile page on Steam, if you go to steamcommunity.com slash id slash hyperlative, you'll find my, my Steam user page or whatever. And um, you can look through all my games there. And as you might see, I've got it's 170 games or so, some, somewhere in that range, uh, that I have on Steam. And as you might guess, I haven't played them all, um, not by a long shot actually. So what I've started doing is actually playing through my games and um, it's been uh, it's been some fun. I actually managed to get through Metro 2033 for the first time. Um, I mean, I tried to play through it when I first got it, but I'm an easily scared person and that game can be pretty freaking scary. So. Uh, I didn't manage to get through it the first time because <laughs> it got a little hard. I was scared shitless and uh, I just couldn't go on. So um, I gave it up, but I've, um, I have uh, I reinstalled it, I played through it, and it was a hell of a lot of fun. It's such a good game. It's such a good game. And it's so highly underappreciated. I mean... Oh, it's such an such an it's just such a gem, and people don't know about it. People just, you know, uh, what's the expression? You write it off. You, people just write it off without even trying it. And it's such a great game. It's such a capable first-person shooter with such a great story, and it's such a different story. I mean, I know it's based on a book, but uh, I just love it. It's such a great. Um, I, I just love that game. It's really awesome, and it, it's so underappreciated. So if you can pick it up for a cheap buck, do so because it's really nice. Yeah, well, not only nice, but well, it looks nice too. Uh, I mean, it uses some uh, DirectX 11 uh, fancy fancy stuff, so it looks really beautiful. But it's such an awesome game, regardless of that. I mean, oh, man, it's too bad it's so underappreciated. It's a bit confusing, though, I have to admit. But still, an awesome game. Awesome game. Um, I see the clip is winding up here. We're coming to a close. Oh, yes, yes. I almost forgot. If any of you are living in the States and are interested in invites to Spotify, because, you know, Spotify is coming to the States, um, I've got invites, and I don't know what to do with them. So if you're from the States, leave a comment below saying you want an invite, and... Um, I'll contact you and send you an invite because I don't know what the heck to do with them. So that's it, guys. I hope to see you next time. Snackers.